What up, Fresh? I'm Donnell Lewis, and here's a slice of my world. So here, right here, is where all the magic starts. <laughs> this used to be where I would record like all the demos and then I'd take it into studio and then lace the real thing. But thanks to technology now, I can pretty much do the whole thing here. It's boom, boom, boom. That's how it went. And I was like, what could, what else could, we been together for some time, but I can't seem to get you out my mind. You truly The whole time I was just thinking of like, what's a song that, you know, like, no one could really hate on. Everyone would think about whoever their last ex was. And that's how I ended up became like, what, like number five <laughs> on the charts? That was real cool. Let's go. Hey. I was always like, I can make beats. I always like doing all that. I'm real creative in studio. But performance wise, I was always real scared and real like, I was never really, you know, too out there. So I always used to like take things like drama in school. And I didn't care what my friends said because all my friends were really into sports and stuff. Everybody saying, Donnie, you the man. I put my girl on the track as a kid. It was in Cannons Creek, which is Pararua. And then I moved up with my mom when I was about five. And then when I went from Peptoy to North Shore, it was just, yeah, culture shock. It was a massive culture shock. It was like a whole lot of more white and Asian people. And I kind of had to change it. And then I started picking up music. Always beatboxing to every single song that used to come on. And I try and imitate every, every beat that would come on. I remember my grandma always being like, eh. What is that? Sometimes I would think of drums or melodies and I'd always try and like do it every minute because I didn't have like a sound recorder or something. Or it wasn't on my phone because now I can do it on my iPhone. Mm. R&B was always huge for me. For reassurance in the beginning, you kind of like believe that it's going to happen. And when it does happen, then you're like, Cool, let's you know keep going, get the ball rolling, and keep it rolling. So that was always my main thing. It was never whether it was gonna be a success. It was always what am I gonna do after that? Because I think that's the most important thing. 